Hi Sushiettes, I'm Kitty from Sushi and I'm going to show you how to draw a cartoon person's second bed. Now this is really good for get well cards. So let's get started. Uh, first up what we do is we'll draw the little head. So just draw a bit of a, um, oval, an oval there. And then we're going to draw a square. Actually, sorry, a rectangle. Getting my shapes all confused. And then from there, we draw a triangle down that side. And then a triangle down that side. And then we draw a rectangle. And then we're going to draw another rectangle across like that. Just going to fix that. It's gone in a bit of a lean there, so just fix that up. And then bring that up too. And then that side up a little bit. It's on a bit of a slant today. So there's that bottom rectangle. And that's going to be the base of the bed. So I'm just going to round, round that up and then mimic that shape as well. Mimic little legs there. Then bring another line across like that and then we'll just bring one two lines down there and then another one two down there and then one two in the center and we're just going to round that bed off there like that and then just behind this oval that we've got for the head, we're going to take a rounded line, this kind of slightly curved line, just above that oval, and then we're going to put an oval out there, and this is like a cartoon pillow drawing. We do another oval there, then we bring a curved line down, and then another oval, another oval on the side. And a curved line down like that and then we're just going to bring another curved line down and then make almost like a really thin leaf shape there just going to do a couple of little lines for stripes just to show the inside of the pillow like that and then we're going to draw an oval there for a hand and an oval there hand. Then I'm just going to bump, just round that up, bump it up a little bit and then bring that down and then take that across as well like that. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of a guideline across there for the eyes and ears so take a little Half circle out there, a little half circle there, a little oval there, a little oval there, and then just out the side to a little mouth, a little curved line there for a mouth. Then out of that mouth, we have a little rectangle with a little circle on top as the thermometer, and then just with these rectangles for the eyes just bring a little curve in at the top and then put the circle in for the highlight and these just by curving off that top there of the eye kind of gives the impression that the character is sad also add some little eyebrows in there too and we'll put a little nose in by just making a slightly curved line and a little cheek there and a little cheek there. 
I'm going to just give them some here. So just bring a couple of wavy lines down like that. And then like that. I'll just bump that top bit out. Do some more wavy lines there. And just show kind of messy hair because they've been in bed. Then we'll just pop a little bit of an ice pack on the top there. So make a jelly bean shape. Like that. And then an oval. And then we just bring a line and a curved line down just to show that top of the ice pack. And then we just put a couple of lines in there to show a bit of texture and folds. Some folds in the ice pack itself. There you go. And then the top of the bed. Just take a rectangle up. There and there. And just round those corners off. And then bring a line and bring a line the same in and across and then down again and then we'll just add one two one two and then a center one like that then just to show like maybe their feet are tucked in the blankets as well we'll just put a a little bit of a bump there to show their feet underneath the blanket. They don't look very happy at all. Hopefully they do get well soon. <laughs> um, and then we just grab our black pens and go back in and ink in the pencil lines.
Then we just go back in and double up the thickness of the main parts of the illustration to make it look even more cartoony.
we just wait for the ink to dry. Then we just go back in and rub out the pencil lines. So there you have it, a cartoon person's second bed. Happy drawing!